that's a welcome home fence. For the organization within the drawers, what I did was I custom made it for me. I bought some of that foam board stuff and I had some electrical tape in my drawer and I measured it out and kind of figured out how I wanted to organize it. Um, there's not really a pattern or a way for me to share with you guys how I did it except for trial and error. Um, I just spent many hours trying to measure and cut and fit it into the drawers and I really like the way that it looks. I think it just looks like really clean and slick and so organized. So without further ado, here is my makeup collection. I like to keep my products organizing depending on what type of product it is. And in this drawer, I like to keep my face products. You can see, like I was talking about my drawer organizers, each one of my drawer organizers are a little bit different because it is customized to what I house in these drawers. So they're all a bit different. And in this top drawer, I like to keep my primers, my skin bases, foundations, and concealers. In here, I keep mini face primers like Hourglass, Smashbox, Makeup Forever, Benefit, um, Anna Sui, you know, L'Oreal, Drugstore, and High End. And then I have my massive bottles. And I am a primer junkie, so I have a High End, MAC, you know, Drugstore as well, a whole bunch of NYX, Anna Sui, Paul & Joe, Shu Uemura, I have an Estee Lauder one, a Stila, all of them. And I also have two other ones. I have my BB Illuminator from Dry Cosmetics and then a Makeup Base. And a couple setting sprays. Then I keep concealers in here and I have cream and liquid concealers. I just have a bunch of them as well. My favorite one is Hard Candy but I've been obsessed with the MAC Pro Longwear. So that's concealer and then moving on to foundation back here. I like to keep it divided from high end and then drugstore. Drugstore foundations I like are Revlon Color Stay, the Rimmel Stay Matte, the Revlon um, Color Stay Whipped. I have a bunch of NYX. I have some CoverGirl. For my higher end, I have Stila, Benefit, NARS, Makeup Forever HD, which I love, Stila, Kat Von D, and Paul and & Joy. I love my Kat Von D one lately. In the next drawer, I keep my face powders. You can see the customized insert is a little bit different. So in here, I keep a whole bunch of blotting papers and a weird Revlon powder that is square. I keep a lot of my little face powders and my bed night luxury powder, which I love, and then just pressed powders, loose powders, all of the above right there. I have divided up my bronzers. I have NYX, um, MAC, The Balm, Makeup Forever, more NYX. And then my highlighters, I have a ton of NYX as well. I have some NARS, Smashbox, Laura Mercier, The Balm, uh, Anna Sui, Paul and Joe. I'm a highlighter junkie. And then my blushes, I don't have my blushes organized in any sort of manner. I just kind of have them all shoved in. I have some NYX, Illamasqua, The Balm, NARS, Laura Mercier, Tarte, just pretty much all. And then in the back, I keep a couple of random items. And that's pretty much my powder drawer. I like to keep it pretty clean. Okay guys, next drawer is my lipstick, and can we just look, I like, I love this drawer, but then it's also like, I have too much lipstick, and like eventually this is all going to be in my stomach, like don't you eat like a certain amount of lipstick per year? Anyway, these containers that I have my lipstick in, I actually got them off of eBay, they were like $5, I used to have a whole bunch of them, but I gave a ton of them away. I keep my MAC lipstick in there, I have some of my Gerard Cosmetics, my OCC Lip Tars, a whole bunch of cargo lipsticks, my Chanel, my Makeup Forever, I have a MAC gloss in there, just anything. And then these one fellow but I actually divide up all my other lipsticks with rubber bands because this is just easiest for me so I can actually see what I'm working with because if I didn't have this it would be a complete mess so it's nicely divided a lot of it is NYX but I have a couple random ones too like my top coat by um, Anna Sui just random lipsticks and then in the back I keep a lot of my lip pencils lip you know not lip pencils but like jumbo pencils and like other glosses and whatnot that don't really stand up like lipsticks I just kind of keep them all you know, categorized somewhat. It makes sense to me, but it might look a little crazy to someone who just opens up my drawer. Besides NYX in here, I also have some CoverGirl in there. I also have, um, what is here, like Maybelline, L'Oreal, a whole bunch of Rimmel, you know, all of the above. In the next bottom two drawers, I keep extra storage for my special effects makeup. It's just extra stuff that I don't have in my kit. I have my rubber mask grease paints, my alcohol palettes, I have a ton of cream colors, I love these bed and eye ones, they're amazing. Um, yeah, my alcohol palettes, I have some Bondo, I have a whole bunch of MAC um, acrylic paints and then some Mayron metallic powders and when you mix those with the Mayron mixing liquid, it is so gorgeous, oh it's just, oh it's beautiful, it's beautiful. I also like to keep a bunch of my liquids and stuff like blood in plastic bags in case it spills and if I need blood, like extra blood in my kit, I'm like, okay, blood, I can grab that bag and put it in. So I have some blood scar stuff there and some capillary, whatever. Um, from third degree, a whole bunch of other paints, paints for my airbrush. Um, I have a giant thing of latex, 
that is awesome by Krylon. Um, and here I just have some lube, some KY, some other alcohol brush cleaner. I found a Sephora brush cleaner in here actually, and I didn't even know I had that. It's an okay brush cleaner, but I wouldn't I wouldn't necessarily go out and purchase it. No. So yeah, and then just a whole bunch of other cream colors underneath there, and that's pretty much that drawer. Oh, and some floss, because you always need some floss. And more supplies in my next drawer. I keep extra brushes in this little Sephora, like, chevron bag. I just like to keep my special effects brushes in there so they don't mess up anything else. Just, I have supplies in here, like extra brushes. I have some masks. I have some ball caps, cotton balls, you know, um, those spoolies. I have sponges in here, a whole bunch of, um, I don't know, different types of sponges, Kleenexes. I have a whole bunch of my little... I don't know, bottles of stuff, shaving cream, witch hazel, barrier cream, 99% alcohol, all that kind of stuff in bags. Again, like if I need extra, I just grab it, put it in my kit, and I'm off. I have some acetone, some removers, um, yeah, a ball cap, barrier cream, I also have some pasties. I'm going, I'm like rambling on. I have a little mustache. I just have a whole bunch of stuff in here. It's a lot to go through. So onto the other drawer. This is the top drawer, and I like to keep in here mostly eye products. So I first have primers. I have you know, everything under the sun, every single primer probably. Then I have mascaras up in here, which these are mostly the ones that I'm using currently, so I have a ton of them. You know, it's a little excessive and I'm aware. Then I have my brow products. I have a whole bunch of Anastasia, NYX. I also have my brow bar to go in there from Gerard Cosmetics, and I'm in love with that. And then I also have my eyeliners. They're kind of subdivided between, um, like, colored and non-colored. I have a whole bunch of eyeliners and lip liners up top of my shelf as well that I'd like to keep there because it's easier to pull from. Then I have my liquid eyeliners, ton of them, mostly NYX again, and then I have some cream eyeliners there as well. Or not eyeliners, eyeshadows, the glam sticks, which are phenomenal. I need to start playing around with them. I have so many. And then these things are waterproof and they are amazing. Oh, those are really nice. But yeah, I need to start playing with these more. Then I have a ton of jumbo pencils and then these um, shadow sticks as well. Yeah, I have a ton of those as well. And I need to start playing with more of my jumbo pencils too. I love jumbo pencils. It was actually the first thing I actually got from NYX. Um, then I have gel eyeliners and cream eyeliners. Bobbi Brown, MAC, you know, Makeup Forever, Smashbox, ton of them. Remember my lipstick drawer? This might be worse. This is my eyeshadow drawer, and I need to depot a bunch of these, but I just haven't gotten around to it. But it is mostly NYX, because I think I have every single one of NYX eyeshadows. Um, I just need to get around to it, so they're just going to be sitting out like that. I also have a whole bunch of their baked eyeshadows. I need to start playing around with those more a little, too, but it's just a ton. I also have all of their primal colors. I have a ton of pigments sitting there. I have a couple ones from MAC there as well, but oh, these, um, what are these called? Glam? No. Uh, loose pigments or what are these? What are these called? A glam? I don't know, but I love the one in platinum. They're roll-on shimmers, and then I have, uh, Makeup Forever glitter sitting there. Um, like I said, I have a couple of MAC pigments here and a MAC glitter, but I mostly keep those in my kit. Then I have a couple random eyeshadows there as well, some Stila's ones, and, you know, L'Oreal. That kind of stuff. That is my eyeshadow drawer. It's a bit excessive and I have not played with all of it, but it's just a lot of fun. Here is my, I call it like my supply drawer. I don't really know. I try and keep it really organized. I have a whole bunch of like tools in these little containers like eyelash curlers, tweezers, an eyelash glue, um, sharpeners, and I have my contacts in here and that's a little bit excessive as well because I don't really wear contacts very often, but I have a lot. My beauty blenders, I have a ton of beauty blenders. I think I have 11 altogether, but I love them. This actually one isn't real, but all of them others are real. I have a set of Stila brushes that I have yet to dabble in, which I still need to use, and then my lashes. I love my lashes. I try to keep them really organized. I love the individual lashes. I get these off of eBay. You can get like 10 packs for like $20 or something. It's an awesome deal. Then I have Krylon, Sephora, Makeup Forever, a whole bunch of NYX ones. I have a ton of NYX Wicked lashes as well, and then I got these lashes at Shoppers, I believe, and I wanted to do like an Effie tutorial, but I never got around to it. And then I also have some Salon Perfect, and then these eyelashes, which I get off of eBay as well. They're like 99 cents for 10 pairs, and I just love those for my everyday use. And yeah, that's pretty much all I keep in there. And like I said, I like to try and keep my makeup... Oh, there's an extra pair of eyelashes in my beauty blender. I like to keep my drawers very clean, because could you imagine if like this drawer wasn't clean, or my other drawer? It just, it would be a disaster. Next up is my palette drawer, and this is maybe one of my favorite drawers. I don't even dabble in here enough, but I like to keep my palettes in sort of a 
uniform manner as well. I have a whole bunch of little palettes and then my big palettes. So I have my Shu Otomura palette. And if you have not tried these eyeshadows, honestly, they're like butter. I love them. I also have my Makeup Forever Flash Palette, which is a must. NARS Palette. This is a blush palette, and I've been obsessed with it. I just, I love it. My Lorac Pro, my Balm Palette, um, the new Tude Palette, actually, by the Balm. I have a couple of Stila Palettes, which are amazing. You get 12 shadows, 12 shadows, 10 shadows, and then a shadow um, liner stick. What are they called? I don't know what they're called. Smudge sticks, and they're $24 each, so the palette's like 50 It's amazing. Then I also have my MAC palette. This is my personal one. I'm, this is my like go-to palette because I just love those shadows. Um, I also have one from BH, and this is one that you custom make. I made this like two years ago. They have the most pigmented bright shadows. If you're looking for bright shadows, check out BH Cosmetics. They are amazing. And I have my MAC blush palette and then my lipstick palette. Still need to do a video on that for you. I have my Cinderella palette. I don't use this. It's just pretty much an, like a collector's item, I guess, for me because I'm obsessed with Cinderella. One day my prince will come. And I don't even think that's Cinderella. I think that's Snow White or something. Anyway, I have my Urban Decay Book of Shadows 4, my Makeup Forever palette. It's like a customizable palette. Um, a shadow broke so I won't open it. I have a bunch of NYX little shadows in there. And then just a ton of other palettes like... Sigma, BH Cosmetics, Stila, Benefit. I have some more Stila palettes down here. I really do like Stila eyeshadows. They're amazing. I have Cherry Culture, and then I have a couple matte quads as well. And in this last drawer, I keep makeup that I know I have not opened. In a lot of my other drawers, I have makeup that I haven't opened, like my eyeshadow drawer. I haven't used all of those eyeshadows, but in this drawer, I know for sure I haven't opened it. So a lot of it is NYX from the Face Awards, but I also have some Stila, Anna Sui, Smashbox, you know, Stila... Did I already say Stila? <laughs> I don't know. Paul and Joe, Chapstick, everything that I know I haven't touched and it's just safely tucked in here and whenever someone comes over I'm like, please, take something. I keep a whole bunch of random stuff on my vanity but like I said in the video, I do keep my eyeliners and lip liners up here just because it's my go-to everyday kind of thing. So I keep lip liners, eyeliners, and then in the middle I keep mascara, duo lash glue. Things I need on an everyday basis I just keep there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a lot of fun to film.